My name is Ricardo, and I was born and raised in Mexico City, aka the capital where Mexican cuisine from every coast of Mexico and the best cuisine from all over the world come to you. I'll be trying and reviewing just that in this series I'm starting. I want to share a piece of my culture with everyone and create something beautiful and big in this channel. I present to you all, Eating with Ricardo. First up is going to go be the chorizo ones, chorizo taco, let's see how it tastes. So you want to do is get the onions and then after that you're going to put it on top of the taco and put in your mouth. Mm, the other one that's up right now is asada and I took a bite of it because I, I forgot but um, here's another one. Go, go. I feel like every single bite that you take into like the taco is like a bite of juiciness and like just like multiple flavors like the meat like when it's spin around like the meat inside that little metal stick and after it's like going around I think it, it like distributes it like evenly yeah it's not messed up got my onion in there let's take a bite I want to mention that my friend Emmanuel Mars who was supposed to be here I wasn't able to make it to this first stop, but the chef himself wanted to say some last few words. Espero que le gusten los tacos de tacos Tijuana y cualquier cosa aquí estamos. Muchísimas gracias. Muchas gracias. Alright guys, I'm here at the second spot right now. For the second spot, we'll be here at Teddy's Tacos. We're here in Venice right now. And um, so the other spot that we just came from right now is at Pomona. Hey, hey, Showing love. No, you're good, you're good. Y'all showing love, you know? So anyways, we're here. We're about to find out. We got the gelats and we'll see how that goes right now. Right now, I have Emmanuel with me now. He's back today. Um, so let's see how this goes. Here's the manual, guys. Check this out right here. We got you two tacos, a tostada. But that is yeah, it's beating that juice, bro. All right. Yeah, so we go outside, though. It's an outside right. patio. I guess we're going outside, guys. You want to take the food? Right, this way. Just so you guys know, he's brought me out um, his bread. Not right now, but Not right I, now. Do, I do have my own bread. He does have, you guys should go check it out. Ooh. Are you going to try to sit? I don't know. It's up to you. Uh, I, Is there like a spot by the ocean and like, by the ocean? That'd be fun. Right yeah, I guess. Nice. Yeah, they even got that. Damn, That's look nice. at this fireplace, guys. Oh, damn. I right, look here, I think that's Sabiria juice though. Honestly? Uh, Alright, let's see what the hype is that. with all of this. So check this out. Oh, Man, I just want to be taking the first bite. Let's see how this goes. Alright, first, in order to eat tacos, you gotta add lemon. You have to. Oh, this lemon's pretty. Hold on. That one didn't work. Right. It's like the Mexican spice right there. Like the final touch, you gotta add that line. So you put lemon on everything. Mm -hmm. and then, the salsa, though. You gotta put that for sure. Ooh. Oh, 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 it's chili, it's tomato. Yeah, I love chili, I love chili. I love it. It's, how, how spicy is it though? Really strong? Yeah, try it. Yeah, we're about to try right now. Let's see how this goes. Mmm. Hey, Loki. It's pretty spicy, but it's bomb. Mm. It's bomb. One more bite, one more bite. I never had, I never had uh, video tostados or tacos, but they're pretty bomb, bro. 
Alright, let's see. I say you should try this shit now. Uh, let's go. It's up. My turn now. So now it's gonna be my turn. Hello, key. I think I'm gonna need to order another taco. Another. Ooh. Mmm. Hey, how does the beauty yeah, taste though? Like, like how, how is it? Uh, you can probably bite that shit. It's like pretty authentic. That's right. That's right. Mm. Hey, look, he's not even spicy though. But like the way I eat this is like either you dip it into like the soup oh, or right. like um, you get like a bite and after you get a scoop of that in your mouth and you chew that together. There you go. You should do that like this. Uh, and they have just Bidia at the uh, taco truck too? Yeah, it's all Bidia. Oh, just letting you guys know, the reason why it's just Bidia is because like the founder of this place, um, Teddy, he found out how to make the tacos back in Tijuana, which is in Mexico, by the border of San Diego. Yeah, that fool brought it over here, right? Yeah, that fool brought it over. And then bring it to the US, bro. <laughs> hey, that's where's that guy? I want to see him. He's at the taco truck. The lady said he do, he was he didn't come. But didn't the other lady? Yeah, the other guy said that he was gonna be here. I want to meet Teddy, guys, but unfortunately he couldn't make it to this location in Venice. So if you guys want to meet Teddy just like as much as I wanted to, I would say go to the location by the train tracks back in LA. Hola a alguien con el talento para preparar estos tacos que están de super tazón. Este es Teddy y estos son sus famosos tacos rojos de birria en las vías del tren. You want to go with the quesadilla and and some other stuff that we got going over here. We're at Leo's Topics right now in West Hollywood. Emmanuel got the mandarin. Hell yeah. Me and Emmanuel were at the other place and then after my phone died, so we weren't able to like record like the last two things we had left on the plate. <laughs> that shit was bomb. It was pretty bomb, but like the conclusion is it was really good and uh, we both enjoyed it. I got to I got the leftover of the Bidria and after I was able, I chucked that down and it was really good. That's the conclusion of that. Oh was it good? Oh, oh that's why. What did we eat? Uh, it was Teddy's Red Tacos oh, in Venice. Right. The leftovers, the ones like Oh yeah, the leftovers. I don't even know what it's called. Uh, <laughs> it was a mulita, it was a mulita, and the other one was a quesadilla. That shit's bomb. And yeah, the birria, which was in the, it's like the soup kind of thing. Um, yeah. So that, that's, what would you rate the other place? Fucking yeah. 10, bro. Because yeah. I, I, obviously I haven't had like birria that good. That's true. And that shit was bomb as fuck. Just to let you guys know, on LA Weekly, or it was LA Eater, it was actually uh, rated number one out of all the taco places here in LA. So, uh, after eating, after going to every single place, we're gonna really find out if it was actually worth number one or if it should be another place. And Leo's Tacos was on, if I might be wrong, but it was actually like number seven, I believe. I'm not too sure, I can't really remember. But somewhere around there. So we're gonna see if Leo's Tacos was actually number seven number eight whatever that was and uh after this we're going to avenue 26 after avenue 26 we're going to king taco located in east l.a number two and yeah we're going to visit the brothers back in east l.a right now so, so in other words we're gonna get that exactly yeah we're, hell we're, yeah yeah my, well my boy is really big so like i don't know if like emmanuel can really i don't know if he can actually like gain much weight but like i'll uh, try it bro i'll try all right we finally got the food now let's go see how this uh tastes uh, in order for me to, there's no table around here, so like if wow, you really wow. want to eat your food, you gotta put it on the hood of your car. This? And yeah, Ooh, so this is what we got. We, obviously, we're going to uh, multiple places. We didn't want to get that oh crazy with like God. the amount of food that we were about to order. If only we had so more light in here. Manuel's gonna go ahead. Let's, let's, let's see. How is it? Pretty good. It's a little hot, but it's a little good. That's good news. That's it's good news. Good, good news. Hmm. Let me see. Let's see what it looks like. Hey, it has them jumping around, so you know, that's obviously a good sign to me. I love food too, so it's just bombing me. To be honest, you said seven, right? Seven out of ten. <laughs> Somewhere around there, I think it was seven. I can't really remember. I give it a seven out of ten though. Right, the taco right. though, it's just because it's a taco. Fair enough. 
got enough followers, good though. I like that. Let's see, we got him dripping, bro. I tell you, <laughs> that's how bomb that is. Mm. Which one did you eat? The um, chorizo. Chorizo. How was that? One? It was pretty good, guys. Yeah. It was pretty good. I think um, the way that it chopped down the meat, they make it like super small, like tiny um, bits of meat. Yeah, I think that's on purpose so that you won't have to chew as much when swallowing. Because I know like sometimes when it's like bigger pieces, um, sometimes uh, for some reason it might be like a little bit harder to chew. That shit so, gets stuck on your tooth, bro. Yeah, it gets stuck yeah, in your teeth too. as well. I mean like I mean like the cilantro and the onion sometimes get stuck in my teeth. Even, but like uh, overall, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Right. Now nah, uh, we're going to be going for the mol molitas time, now. Time for that fucking boss. Yeah, we're going, we're going for the molitas. Want to get it's yours? Take it out. Mm -hmm. Come here. I say get the molita. They call it a molita, but to be honest with you guys, it's really like it's a quesadilla, but instead of it being like folded, it's flat, and there's another piece of uh, tortilla on top with cheese as well. But I mean, like they gotta come up with new names, you know? So I guess molita. Hey, Amen. I wonder why molita. To be honest, quick fat. The way that tacos were created is because of the Arabs that uh, immigrated to Mexico. It was a combination of the Arabs and the natives who created the tacos back back in the capital. So any any of you guys who are um, trying to know, that's how these were created, these babies. And after the immig the Mexican immigrants that immigrated from Mexico to the United States, you know, they just came, brought the recipes, got rich, and that's how it worked. Yep. And that's how you got King Taco, like one of the biggest chains that I know. There might be other ones, but I haven't heard of them, so... Yeah, that really happened? Yeah. Specifically the uh, Lebanese. Maybe like, they accidentally dropped the meat in the tortilla. And they're like, oh my god, that goes pretty Bad well. And came and shit. Uh, well, Bad Bunny's from Puerto Rico, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a different story. Alright, being in the backyard, I think it's pretty good to turn out, boys. Uh, heard a lot of things about this place, and I've been here first time as well. Uh, Manuel's in here as well. It's just pretty lit. Hey, Summer, I'm gonna come here and dance, bro. Oh. Yeah. Whoa! Oh. 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 Yeah, it's just Woo! Damn, thank you, Fuck yeah. Zip top party. Hey, guys, keep this down. Thank you. Every taco is bomb, like, legit. Like, they're not even saying that just because it's a taco, like. They're saying it's bomb. Just let you guys know, this man says that he works out every day, but it's more like he's being, he's out here eating every day, man. I'm eating every day. So, hey, the meat? He gains, he likes getting back what he loses at the gym. I pretend like I work out. <laughs> and uh, the meat's pretty soft, but it's, like, it's cooked, oh. It's cooked all the way, but that shit's bomb, bro. Uh, we're at the last restaurant over here. We're at King Taco. We're about to get some tacos. This is Chicharrón. Yes. Mm. Hey, Emmanuel, out of all the places that we've been to today, which one did you like the most? It's hard. Because, alright, so the first place was bomb, but it was only birria, so I'll, I'll keep that one on top. And then the last place we went to is like the same level. And that one had like multiple choices, so. That shit's bomb. The second one though, it, it was good, but not that good, you feel? Okay. Yeah. It was like, okay. That's why it's so good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. But that last place was bomb. Like, yeah, sure. that place we went to, the lengua. Yeah, oh my God, that was lit. so juicy. Like, so good, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sick ass vibes. Everything. Especially like the guy was flipping up like the tacos around when he prepared it for us. got that full name, bro. Yeah. Make that full Dude, shout out to that guy right there. Shout out to him. He made my night. See me making tacos that same way, watch. I swear. <laughs> I swear. At know. the gym? At the gym. What number are we? We are fucking shoot. We're 160, bro. We've had a while. I'm hungry. Uh, 
Hey, do you guys like the haircut? Like, for real? Oh, you got the social cut.